Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good and welcome to renovation vlog number four. I'm hoping that this is the second to last renovation vlog. Fingers crossed. I feel like renovation vlog five will be the final one, but let's see. Anyway, I'm on the top floor at the minute and these are the two bathrooms and the bathrooms are now like fully fitted out. They've had shower doors put on and everything. So yeah, the bathrooms are ready to go, which is super exciting and yeah. And then this is the middle floor and I'm in bedroom number three. I know I mentioned before in the last renovation vlog about the ensuite and I didn't really show it properly. So I'll show it now. But also on the middle floor, nearly everywhere has been plastered, which is super, super exciting, which means we'll be painting again soon but yeah this is like coming along really nicely and then slowly but surely they'll be moving on to the final floor which is the ground floor so yeah everything is really coming together but yeah i'll just insert some clips of like everywhere that's been plastered and plasterboarded because yeah So there has been some changes in the communal area finally. So first of all, they've taken the ceiling down so that they can do some plumbing for the en-suites upstairs. And then also in the communal area, they've dug up a bit of the floors just so that they could check that it was safe because yeah, we're gonna like obviously create a new opening and put a steel in and yeah, we just wanted to make sure that it was all gonna be safe and secure. And then also under this carpet, you can see that that's like the original floor so we're gonna have the task of like cleaning that soon guys the downstairs is looking like totally different like i've actually my jaw actually dropped when i walked in like i can't believe that we've actually started making changes to the ground floor now um oh, it's just it's so weird to like be stood in it so they basically started like stripping away like they've pulled up the carpet they've brought the ceiling down so this is like the communal area that i'm in at the minute so we are actually going to like open it out um over here on the right so it is going to be like a much wider kind of open space but yeah it's just all coming together and yeah it's exciting so we'll go around now and then you can see the other side of the communal space and yeah so this is like the other side of the communal area so this will be like mainly like kitchen space and things like that so yeah things are just going well i'm excited to see like the changes now because i feel like i don't want to say it's like getting to the final stretch but you know what i mean like we're getting there we're getting there good progress has been made so yeah. okay so we're basically in now what is going to be bedroom number one and two so as you can see they're sort of stripping that away as well and they've like knocks through here so basically the layout for this is this is going to be the door for bedroom number one and then where i'm standing that's going to be like a little lobby kind of area and then the door for bedroom number two is going to be here and yeah it's all coming together Okay, so I'm on the middle floor and all of the plastering on the middle floor is finished and they've started putting like the shelving in for the wardrobe and yeah, so we're actually going to start painting, well you know how we did like the undercoat last time um, in, I don't even remember which vlog it was, but we did the undercoat so we're going to start doing that in here now. Um, but yeah, and then I'll show you the top floor now. Guys, we have flooring. This room is actually finished, like, other than like being painted and like the like second fix electrics and things like that. This room is actually finished, but its flooring is so, so nice. The flooring is called Chrono Robusto. I can't remember the shade name. If we find it, I'll leave it linked down below. But this flooring is by far the best quality flooring that we've ever brought. It just, it just looks so, so good. I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited, guys. 
Um, but yeah, it's just look really good. And we're going to have this flooring like all the way throughout. So the flooring is so good that we can actually have it in the kitchen as well, which is really good because if you watch the old office house tour, then you'll know that like we had to put tiles in the kitchen because the flooring wasn't good enough. But with this, you can just have all of this in the kitchen and oh, I'm so happy. So on the top floor, there's only one room that's left to be floored. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is only one room needs to have floor and put down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, I think this is gonna be the last time you see the top floor. And I'm gonna save everything else for the final house tour because nothing else is really gonna change that much. And I want, I want like, the final house tour to have some surprises in it. So I'm not gonna show you much more of the top floor now. Um, so yeah, say goodbye to the top floor, guys. The only other thing that's changed on the top floor is in the hallway, they've finally started like plasterboarding and like they've started working on that now. But yeah, this is the last time you'll see the top floor until the final house tour. I fully forgot to say about the fitted wardrobe. So here it is. You can see it's got the shelf in there. We've got the mirror, wardrobe doors, and yeah. Hello guys, so final installment of renovation vlog number four. I'm on the middle floor and I'm in bedroom number four and as you can see we have flooring in here as well so the middle floor has nearly all been floored. Uh, it sounds like wrong saying that don't you think? Floored. <laughs> the flooring has been laid. I don't know. The flooring has been laid in all of the rooms apart from one. So this is one of the rooms where we had to remove the fire exit and then replace it with a Juliet balcony. So that's outside now and they've like put the railings up and they are grey. We wanted to go for like a subtle colour, nothing like too crazy. So yeah, this is how this room is looking. So this is bedroom number five and I was actually just saying to mum like, I can't believe how big this room is compared to what we were gonna do originally and I am just so, so glad that we made that decision and the rooms have now got so much space and I'm just so glad and I just love it here. The flooring has been put down, you can't really see it because we've put carpet over it to protect it and that. Uh, but yeah, and then we've started doing like the undercoat for the painting. Uh, so yeah. And then I'll show you bedroom number six, which I feel like is bigger than this one and yeah, I'm just happy. Okay, so here is bedroom number six. I don't even know if I showed you the wardrobe doors the last time, but the wardrobe doors are on, the floor is down, and I feel like things are just, we're actually really close to the end now, guys, so we are thinking that there'll be roughly about another three weeks worth of work for the builders to do, so three weeks. That means that this is actually the second to last renovation update for this project so yeah but anyway I'm getting ahead of myself anyway let's go downstairs so guys we've had some major changes in the hallway so this is where the door for bedroom number one used to be and our trainee actually has bricked up the wall done an amazing job so yeah there's no door here anymore because we're going to change the whole layout of bedroom like one and two and like where the doors go and things like that so yeah we have bricked up the wall and yeah. So this is the communal and the kitchen area again and we're actually getting ready to finally knock the wall through. So I don't know if I mentioned it before but we're not knocking like the whole wall. There is going to be like bits of the wall that kind of stays there but yeah this is the week that we are finally, finally knocking the wall through and then they're also going to deliver a steel as well so that the whole house doesn't fall down. Obviously that is yeah, necessary. So yeah, they're gonna deliver the steel next week. Um, so everything is like in place. And yeah, that'll probably be in renovation vlog five because this is the like final bit for this little vlog. Um, so yeah. So guys, that is the end of the fourth renovation vlog. If you haven't seen the others, then make sure you check them out and make sure you stay tuned for renovation vlog number five, which is definitely gonna be the final one. I'm probably gonna be doing some homework hauls in between like now and renovation vlog five. So make sure you stay tuned. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really appreciate it as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.